Good morning and welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I've uploaded a new video and since that time we have moved from North Carolina to Billings, Montana and I'm working for a construction company out here and they provided a Microsoft Surface with Windows 11 which I did not like and uh, an external keyboard and an external mouse and two external monitors. I did not like the Surface and so I decided to keep using my Asus VivoBook S15 with the screen pad and uh, we began using this little device to connect to the Ethernet and to the external monitors. It's not a power device so it's basically just uh, additional uh, ports for the computer and uh, over the weekend I got in a Razer Thunderbolt 6 Chroma and uh, it has on the front the port to connect to the computer. It has a uh, card reader. On the back you have three Thunderbolt 4 ports, Ethernet port and three USB ports and it is powered. So what we're going to look at um, in this video is the ability of the S15 to connect to multiple monitors. I've had several people ask how to do that so we're going to look at that this morning. And then it says on a lot of the ASUS sites and everything I've read about the VivoBook S15 that you cannot charge it with a docking station. We're going to see what happens when we hook it up to the Razer. So we'll start now with uh, looking at the monitors. So the VivoBook S15 with the screen pad has two ports we're interested in on the right hand side of the machine. You have the HDMI port and the Thunderbolt 4 port. We're going to see what happens when we plug an external monitor into the HDMI port. So now we see that we have an external monitor, the main display, and the screen pad. And if we right click in the display, we'll see that the external monitor is number two, main display is number one, and the screen pad is number three. So now we're going to see what happens when we use a USB or uh, USB-C HDMI adapter to connect the second monitor. We'll plug it into the Thunderbolt port and see what happens. So now you'll see it's showing four monitors and it's showing that the main display is one, screen on the right is 2, screen on the left is 3, and it's showing that the screen pad is number 4, but you'll notice that the screen pad is now black. It's just a trackpad mode only. I worked with an Asus tech over chat, and of course the tech wanted me to uh, do a factory reset, but I sent the uh, form in to have higher level techs look at it, and they responded in 24 hours. The VivaBook S15 with the screen pad only supports three monitors. Main display, one external monitor and the screen pad, or the main display, two external monitors and no screen pad. So you can connect two external monitors, but when you connect the second, the screen pad turns to trackpad mode only. When you remove the second monitor, the screen pad returns. So that's what happens when you try to connect additional monitors to the VivaBook S15 with the screen pad. So here's the Razer Thunderbolt 4 Chroma and I've been connected the power supply, the Ethernet cable, and the Bluetooth dongle for the external mouse. Now we're going to see what happens when we plug the Thunderbolt 4 cable into the Thunderbolt 4 jack on the VivoBook. And you will see that it now says it's plugged in and you'll notice that the battery is now showing as charging. Unplug it, back on battery, it's no longer charging. Plug it back in, it's now plugged in and the battery is charging. So you can in fact charge the battery to the VivoBook S15 by using a powered Thunderbolt 4 docking station like the Razer Thunderbolt 4 Chroma. Okay. 
So now that we've verified that we can, in fact, charge the VivoBook S15 through the Chroma, now let's see what happens when we connect an external monitor to the back of the Chroma. Plug it into one of the Thunderbolt 4 ports. The monitor comes on. And again, main display is one. The external monitor is two, and the screen pad is number three. Now let's see what happens when we try to plug in a second external monitor with the Chromebook. Not the Chromebook with the docking Chrome. So we're seeing that for some reason, nothing happens. So I do not know why the docking station is not even looking at the second screen. So I'm going to remove the second screen from the docking station, take the adapter off, and plug it into the HDMI port on the VivoBook S15. And we'll see again two external monitors, the main display, and the screen pad disengages. So again, we're only able to use three monitors total, either two external in the main display or one external main display and the screen pad. So that's what we've got going with the um, docking station and the charging the laptop and hooking up external monitors. Thank you for watching. I hope you found something useful. And if you did, please like and share. You can leave some comments down below. On this side is a link to the original video, the unboxing and first view of the 532EQ. And on this side is a link for the subscription to the channel. Thank you again and hope to see you next time.